Today we will solve this problem from JE Advanced 2014. This is absolutely a good question from limits and you must attend this question before watching the solution. So let's start solving this question. So first we will solve this limit actually. So this is limit x tending to 1 minus x plus sine x minus 1 plus a divided by x plus sine x minus 1 minus 1 whole to the power 1 minus x divided by 1 minus root x equal to 1 by 4. Okay. So first what you will do, you will take minus a common from these two terms. So here it will be limit x tending to 1 minus a into x minus 1 plus sine x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 plus sine x minus 1 whole to the power. Now this 1 minus x can be written as 1 square minus root x square. So that will be 1 plus root x into 1 minus root x divided by 1 minus root x here. This and this will be cancelled out and 1 plus root x will be left in the power. This is equal to 1 by 4. So, next what we will do, we will divide this numerator and denominator by x minus 1. So, this will be limit x tending to 1. This is minus a plus sine x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 whole divided by 1 plus sine x minus 1 divided by x minus 1. Okay. Whole to the power 1 plus root x equal to 1 by 4. Now, see that x is tending to 1. So, x minus 1 will tend to what? 0. So, after limiting sine x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 will be equal to 1 and this will also be equal to 1. Okay. So, after solving this, this will be 1 minus a divided by 2 whole square because after limiting 1 plus root x, it will be 1 plus root 1 which is equal to 2. So, this will be equal to 1 by 4. Now, from this equation, we will get two equations. Okay. We will get two equations. First one is 1 minus a divided by 2 equal to 1 by 2. From here, we will get a equal to 0 as a solution. And from here, we will get 1 minus a divided by 2 equal to minus 1 by 2. So, a will equal to true. Okay. As a solution. So, we got two solutions of a. And most of the students will write the answer 2 after solving. But is that the correct answer? The answer is no. Correct answer is 0. 2 is not the correct answer. Now, why? We are saying that the largest value of a is equal to 2. Then why 2 is not the correct answer? Why? We are picking 0 as the correct answer. Let's discuss. Okay. I am taking some examples. Suppose there is something like minus 1 to the power 3 by 2. Analyze this carefully. So this is root over minus 1 whole. Thing. Now root over minus 1, it is an imaginary number. So this number is not defined in real. Okay, we are not talking about imaginary world. It is not defined in real world. Okay. Let's take minus 3 whole to the power, suppose 7 by 8. So, same like that, this will be not defined. Okay. Let's take minus 2 by 3 whole to the power suppose 3 by 4. So, same like that, this will be not defined. So, what we are getting? We are getting that negative number to the power odd integer by even integer. Odd integer by even integer is equal to not defined. This is the concept. Very important concept. Note this concept, okay? If you don't know. So now, 
where is the problem? Let's identify it. it. So if we put a equal to 2, we will get 1 minus a divided by 2 equal to minus 1 by 2. So you will say why there is a problem because this will satisfy this minus 1 by 2 whole square is 1 by 4. That is not the problem. The problem is with this 2. Why? Let's understand. I am writing two things here. One is 1 plus root x equal to 2. And the another thing is 1 plus root x is tending towards 2. What are the differences between these two things? Are these same? No. 1 plus root x equal to 2 means the value of 1 plus root x is exactly equal to 2. But 1 plus root x is tending towards 2. That means that the value of 1 plus root x is extremely close to 2. If we draw number line and put 2 here, then 1 plus root x will exist in a neighborhood of 2, left or right neighborhood of 2. It is a very close number of 2. It can be like 1 point so many nines here, okay? Or it can be 2 point So, if we convert these two numbers into fractions, what it will be? It will be divided by clear. And this will be clear. So, from here, you can see that for these two cases and for any number which is extremely close to 2 uh, and like this, we are seeing that the numerator is odd and the denominator is even. Same like that, this is also the numerator is odd and the denominator is even. Right. You are getting the point. So, whenever we are putting a equal to 2, now see that we are limiting this 1 plus root x and getting 2. That means the value of 1 plus root x is not exactly equal to 2. It is tending towards 2. It is numbers like this. Right. So, that is actually odd integer by even integer. And if we are putting a equal to 2, then 1 minus a by 2 is equal to minus 1 by 2, which is negative. So, according to this, this is like minus 1 by 2 to the power odd integer by even integer. Actually, this is the case we are getting if we are putting a equal to 2. So, is that defined? This is not defined in real world according to this concept. So I am star marking it star. Okay. This is very important concept. Note it. So the we need to reject 2 and 0 is the correct answer. You may find the solution of this problem in internet wrong in many places. Okay. But this is actually the correct solution and if you just want to justify it, then go to Google and search J Advanced 2024 answer key, then get that problem and see the solution. The answer will be equal to zero. I checked that. Okay. So this is the concept. Very good problem. Okay. Tricky problem actually. So, if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and share, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos and concepts like this. Thank you for watching the video and giving your time.